Consider the positions. Rick Mears on the pole, then Danny Sullivan and Al Unser Jr. Roger Penske is the winningest car owner at the Indianapolis 500. He may win yet today. Earlier, my colleague Sam Posey took a look at this most remarkable man. Winning is, is a term that I guess uh, manifested itself th throughout you know, our society for a number of years. And it is an indicator. You know, you win or you lose. This was Roger Searle Penske at the Culver Military Academy. Notice his cap is at just the right angle. The next step was Lehigh University, where he majored in industrial management. His interest in sports cars drew him to racing, and his disciplined, organized approach to the sport made him a winner of major races in the early 1960s. At 28, Roger cut short his budding driving career to enter the business world. He began with a Chevrolet dealership in South Philadelphia. His rise, swift and sure, was built on 18-hour workdays, high mobility via a pair of Lear jets, and a way of looking at things dead in the eye with a total absence of emotion. Today, the Penske Corporation grosses over a billion dollars a year. Roger runs the biggest Toyota and Cadillac dealerships in America, the Hertz Penske Truck Leasing Company, Detroit Diesel, a joint venture with General Motors, the race team, and two race tracks. There are other corporate millionaires, of course, and a few of them are involved in racing. But Roger is unique in that he was a racer first and a businessman second. And even today, racing is the thread that runs through everything he does. Well, I think the big thing in racing, they don't wait for you. There's no excuses, and you have to make it happen. If you're at Indianapolis and you're three or four miles an hour slow in qualifications the next morning, you've got to do something about it. And typically, it's, uh, you know, you don't wait for the phone to ring. You know, you're, you're more proactive, and I think that's kind of the uh, way we feel in, in racing. There's a lot of follow-up. You're sure that things happen. And typically, those kind of disciplines you don't find in, in many businesses. If you work hard for something, you're usually successful. The best athletes are the ones that train, that have discipline. Uh, the top business managers that I've met uh, throughout the country are the ones that uh, are putting the time in or interfacing you know, with their people, with their customers. Morning, man. And it works. It's, it's, it's the old-fashioned way, I guess. Hey, nice to see you back in California, huh? Bill at the Hertz Pansky. He leads by example, setting personal standards for effort and commitment which do not go unnoticed by the people, famous or otherwise, that he employs. The amazing thing about Roger is his attention to detail, and it doesn't matter whether it's the race shop, the race cars, the Hertz Penske, the dealerships, they're all immaculately clean. Everything is perfect. He's, you know, probably as straight a shooter as I've seen in the business. I mean, he's a tough businessman, and, uh, you know, if he's going to make a deal, he's going to make a good deal. But it's usually a good deal for both parties. Even the people that don't have day-to-day -day contact with him feel his influence. I know Roger's in charge. You can see the difference already in the plan. It was quite pessimistic before Roger took over. We are all wondering what we're going to do a year from now, but now there's hope for the future. If there's one thing that's essential to his success that Roger himself thinks of as the key, it is... Teamwork. Someone said, what did you think about sitting three cars on the front row in Indianapolis. What I felt was how great that was for the eight or 9,000 people that work for us, that they, it's their cars on that front row. And that would just manifest itself into pulling that whole team together. It's a common thread through our organization. As I'm setting standards and goals every day for our people, and this is high profile, and uh, to go out there and fall on your face, uh, I fought a lot harder than most people think uh, when we're not successful. Uh, as far as uh, Indianapolis, if we're not, we don't go there to win, and we shouldn't go.